the last thing we can do with our fonts before we move on uh, is that we can clone the fonts themselves as well. This is more generic thing that we can do for Android. So anytime you want to have a new font, you can just clone it instead of having to do everything again. You can download a free application that is called Clone Phone. I have it here. So when you open it, it will transfer, when you use it, it will transfer all the information, calendar and data from one phone to another. So effectively you could have one tablet or phone uh, already parameterized. They don't have to be exactly the same. It can, it can be two different, like uh, a Samsung Galaxy and a Huawei something, right? So if you click in, this is the old phone, you go to a screen where you can scan codes, all right? So that would be for the old phone. And then if you go to the new phone, it will ask you if it's an Android or, or an iOS. In this case, for Cobo Collect, always needs to be an Android. Cobo Collect doesn't work in iOS. So uh, always type in Android. And then it will ask you to disable mobile data, and then it will give you a QR code. So it will it's, it's written here that install Chrome phone in the old phone. So you have to install it in the other phone and then scan QR code with the old phone. So I'm not going to keep on because this will disable my Wi-Fi and thus my screen from the lap from the, com the telephone will disappear. But you will just get here a QR code like before. And besides, I don't want you to scan my QR code, so I won't give it to you. But um, this is what would happen. And then you would have like all applications that you would have downloaded in the initial one. So ideally you install Kobo in one application, you parameterize it and either you do the trick that we see in the, in the admin uh, properties in video 6a, or you can directly clone the phone, the whole phone and it will probably work as well.